It's November, and time to start thinking about those big Christmas party. So this week on Explore Tulsa, we start the show with a place in the country that's party ready. Then toys for kids of all ages. Followed by a nice lunch break. Plus a real gas guzzler. Hi, I'm Stevie Fernandez. And I'm Trish Whitmer. As cooler temps are starting to join us, we're so glad to see you bundled up with us for this week's Explore Tulsa. Well, now's the time people should be thinking about Christmas. Yeah, that's right, Stevie. It's a good time to start booking venues for workplace Christmas parties. Well, I was thinking more about what you should get me for Christmas. I've just about finished my list. Huh, while you do that, let's meet Brittany and Kristen for the mastermind behind Rick's Place in Coweta. The guys kind of just sit back and let Brittany and I do what we want to do, which works out great for everybody. <laughs> we kind of say, this is what we're going to do, and usually they say, that sounds good, and it works out perfect. No, I did not in a million years think we would be somebody that had a venue, and it's actually turned out really good so far. I think that we all kind of were experiencing the same steps in our friends' lives, everyone getting married and going to different venues, and. One in particular stood out to us in Texas that was more of a rustic style. The process on building Rick's Place, it was an interesting one. It started out, we kind of just started sketching on paper what we would like, and then as we met with the builder, then the small details came into play. Yes, my husband is a rancher slash farmer. He likes to be called a rancher. He, his dad passed on the land to him and the farming. His dad passed away in 2009. His name was Ricky Bryan, and he was a farmer, former football player for OU and the Falcons. We named the building after my father, um, so Rick's Place, kind of just, it's catchy, it's simple. We miss him so very much. Whenever we first started doing this, my brother and I's joke was, he would literally die and said, you guys have lost your minds. He actually retired from football when I was in first grade. He blew out his Achilles tendon. So I uh, don't really remember a lot. I remember bits and pieces, um, but I don't remember a whole lot. But there's, you know, game films and stuff we get to watch, which is really neat. Uh, they had a championship season after he left, the year after he left, and that was a joke. And I think with the Falcons, they had a championship season after he left that year, too. And he's like, you know, that's the thing, you get me off the football team and you'll win a championship. <laughs> when you go in, you're going to see we have a grand entry which has a chandelier and a um, hickory table with wine barrels to support it. And then we also have a men's room which is for the grooms to come in and change or if it's for a party, maybe they store their um, supplies in that room. We have then the Grand Hall, which accommodates 216 indoor seating. You can come outside to a 12-foot patio porch covered, three glass garage doors, and then um, we have the kitchen, which includes a refrigerator, um, a very big ice machine, microwave, oven, prep tables. And we also have the bar, which they could use as a bar or a cake table. We have the bride's room, which has plenty of mirrors and room for them to get ready, brides and bridesmaids. We have had events as far as baseball banquets. We're hoping to have the football banquet here this year for the high school. Um, hoping to have a couple of proms, but we've had weddings. We've had a um, couple funerals, actually. Um, banquets. We had a huge 4th of July party out here and everybody just loves it. I think they love more the atmosphere that even if it's hot and nasty with Oklahoma's great weather, you still have the open glass doors and if it's nice like it is today, you can open the doors and it's absolutely beautiful. And you don't feel like you're stuffy and you have to be real, you know, uptight. You can kind of just relax and have a good time. I think the thing I've enjoyed the most is just working hand in hand with my brother and sister-in-law and my husband. You know, you get so busy with life and work that you kind of do your separate things and this is just something that we've been able to come together and become closer knit and enjoy this and do it together. So I think that's probably been the thing I've enjoyed the most. 
Briggs Place is a great place for a party. Kinda has a ring to it. To find out what days and times are available for your next party or event, visit BriggsPlaceOK.com to learn more. With all that space way out there where you can make all kinds of noise, I bet Rick's Place could be just the right spot for a big remote controlled car or drone race. Mm, Rick's Place is a great place for just about every event, but maybe there are other spots equally as equipped to take on race day. Hey, the guys at Urban RC and Jinx will know where all the action is. Oh yeah, good idea. Let's make that our next stop when we continue with more Explore Tulsa. I want to get a new TV. There's like a thousand different brands, all with different features. I wish I could make sense of it all. What do you think is best? You should go to Video Revolution. Their experts will tell you everything you need to know. They carry the latest LED and 4K TVs and will even install it and set it up for you too. She's right. You wouldn't talk to anyone but your dentist about your bicuspid. So when it comes to home entertainment, only trust the experts at Video Revolution. Located on the northwest corner of 71st and Lewis. Ever since the first movie theaters opened in the early 1900s, man has been trying everything to bring that same experience home to enjoy with their families. And for more than 30 years, Video Revolution and their home entertainment experts have been making those dreams come true by designing custom home theater solutions for both in and outdoor use. From 1080p LEDs to the brand new Sony 4K flat panel TVs, or come in to see the latest in sound bars and surround sound setups, Always the top name brands are found at Video Revolution. That same electronic expertise we also apply to your business communications network. From boardroom automation to video wall presentations. No matter what technology the future holds, you can count on Video Revolution to be leading the way. Tulsa's headquarters for the best selection and installation of cutting edge electronics. Video Revolution on the northwest corner of 71st and Lewis. Hi again, we always love seeing you stay with us for more Explore Tulsa. As you can tell, Stevie's a little excited about our next guest. I don't know any guy that doesn't get excited about going to a place where you can play with remote controlled cars, planes, and drones. The place Stevie's talking about is in Jeep, and it's called Urban RC. They have everything, Trish, like tanks, racing cars, drones. That's where you ought to go to get my Christmas present. Well, let's have a look around and see if there's anything that you've actually deserved this year. A friend of mine back in the 80s introduced me to flying RC aircraft and I flew RC aircraft all the way through. Flying really wasn't my thing at the time and then as I got older I got into cars. Uh, so I started racing out at Adams Creek and um, within a couple of months he bought a truck and we started racing together. And we went from coast to coast uh, and we went from border to border, north and south. And we walked into several hobby shops uh, and walked through and walked out. Never got a response from any of the, uh, the people in the hobby shop, and we were very disappointed in the level of service that we got. So we thought, we can do better. We try to offer it from a standpoint of, we're just like our customers. We started somewhere uh, with very limited knowledge, and we really we dug in and we found out what we could find out. So we try to pass that on and help them understand what they're doing, what they have, um, and help them get on track with where they want to be. Something that you typically just, just don't see anywhere else. I fly airplanes, I fly drones, I, I drive the cars. Uh, there's not anything I don't like to do. Uh, that's, that's the big thing. I mean, I do, uh, do the repairs on, on all of them. I, I like to fly all of them. Our, we have structured our hours on Saturdays that we're don't open until noon so we can go out to the, the airfield, the RC airfield, and fly airplanes. That's one of the things that keeps us in touch with our customers is we know what our, our stuff will do. We take the stuff out of the box, we uh, fly it, drive it, whatever, and we can talk to our customers and say, well, this will do this, this will do that. Uh, in the last year alone, technology has been uh, incredibly changed. I mean, you look at where we started with something as simple as uh, GPS units that we thought that the, you know, even last year, that's the, the pinnacle of the technology, and it really wasn't. You turn around and, and 12 months later, and uh, you have things like uh, return to home, geofencing, obstacle avoidance, 
Um, the changes in just the last year have been crazy. They're easy to fly. Uh, that's just it. That's basically, basically it. You can pick one up, you can fly it, and we are in that age. It's uh, computer controlled. There's nothing to it. Uh, a lot of operation drones, it comes down to responsible operations, just like driving a car. Uh, if you keep it um, sensible, you use some common sense, you don't uh, become a danger to public safety, you won't have problems. So if you stay underneath the, uh, the 400 foot limit, if you stay three miles away from airports, if you stay uh, out from overhead of the public, you won't have any problems. Uh, there's a little bit of racing that's done in the area. The local group has just gotten involved with a group called MultiGP. Uh, they're a multinational organization that are really working to bring in uh, the legitimacy of drone racing. Uh, there's probably about uh, maybe two dozen active racers in the area, but I know from experience there's well over a hundred uh, racing quads that are in the area. You know, we've always uh, wanted to start a hobby shop. This is one of the things that really brought us together as a father and son. And uh, a lot of times it's father-son type stuff. I want to keep, you know, keep people coming. I had a, a situation come in. We had a FedEx driver come in. He bought a car for his son. He, he made a delivery, saw what we were doing, bought a car for his son. He had a birthday coming up. He came back the next day. And I thought, well, he must have another delivery. No, he bought another car for himself. And that, that, was, that was really cool. That's the kind of thing I like to see. I like to see fathers and sons going out there doing things. I mean, look what it got me. I got, got into this thing. I, now I've got my son into it, so it's kind of cool. Oh boy, shopping at Urban RC is a lot like shopping at Video Revolution. They know everything you need to know to get the RC that works best for you. And they enjoy playing with everything too. To learn all about the RCs they offer, visit urban-rc.com or stop by their place in Jeep. Soon they're going to have an indoor racing track and lots of other very cool stuff. Any chance they'll be serving lunch? My tummy's starting to rumble a little. Really? I thought that was one of the drones doing like a flyby. <sighs> I know. Let's head downtown and stop in for a delicious treat at Deco Deli when we return with more Portal Set. John Erling with Voices of Oklahoma. Our great state has been home to countless individuals whose place in history has been earned through each of their many accomplishments. Voices of Oklahoma's mission is to preserve their story in an oral history presentation like none other. Accounts direct from famous Oklahomans, political figures, and many others who have left their indelible mark on the development, history, and future of Oklahoma. So please, treat yourself by listening to those who are the Voices of Oklahoma. Hi, I'm Devin Dorney, and I'm here to tell you about the brand new Canon 70D. Well, one of the great things about the Canon 70D is that in this generation, you actually have autofocus during video recording. Uh, that was one of the things that held back some of the original SLRs that did video. It's very difficult to do a home video or something like that when you had to pay attention to a manual focus. Now, you have touchscreen controls and facial recognition that help you get the most out of your home video. It's an SLR, so it does both pictures and video. It takes 20.2 uh, megapixel stills and wonderful video. This is a camera that everybody can be efficient with. It can be used for birthday parties on up to professional video products and, and uh, professional photography products. Well, DSLRs offer you the opportunity to change your lenses and get different depths of field and different effects in your photography. And it gives you an opportunity to take some of those really gorgeous photos that you see wedding photographers and baby photographers taking. And you can do that with an inexpensive lens. It's uh, really easy to do and it makes everybody feel like a pro. The camera itself shoots broadcast quality HD video to a convenient SD card which you can take out of the camera uh, and plug right into your computer, pull the video off and, and start editing. In fact, this camera does so much that there's really not enough time for me to tell you everything it can do. So why don't you come and visit me, I'm Devin Dorney, come and visit at Video Revolution and we can sit down and talk about the camera and I can show you exactly how you can take great home videos and still photos on your own. My name is Don Hendricks, the owner and operator of Sarah's Dynasty here at the golf course at Sand Springs, Canyon at Blackjack Ridge, and you are watching Explore Tussle.
If you work in or around the historic Atlas Life Building, then there's a good chance you already know about the good eats at the Deco Deli. But if not, you'll be so glad you stuck around for more Explore Tulsa and a visit with John Robinson, who turned his love for food preparation into a downtown hotspot. Mainly in, uh, in college is when I started cooking when I was off by myself. It just, I wasn't, I've never been a big fan of uh, fast food. I've always enjoyed uh, healthy homemade meals. And so it started there and it just grew to a passion. And uh, what, actually when I get finished at the restaurants, I'm always thinking about what I'm cooking for dinner that night for myself. I was born and raised in Tulsa. I uh, graduated high school here. Then I was, uh, lived in Texas for a short period of time and was uh, working in the banking industry down there and just got kind of burnt out on that. And so my brother, uh, he owns the Atlas Grill, just right down the hallway from us. And so he opened up this restaurant originally and asked if I wanted to come up and run the restaurant with him. And so I, as far as things I had passion for, cooking was, was number one. And so if I could have a job or a career that was based around something I loved to do, that's, I mean, I was all about it. So I came back here and helped them open the restaurant and I've actually took over ownership about six months ago. The Atlas Grill has actually been either a restaurant or a coffee shop since the building was uh, constructed in 1922. And my brother took over ownership about almost, almost 11 years ago. So he's been doing this for quite some time, and he also was, he worked there four years before uh, he purchased a restaurant. So he was uh, he was the, the man behind as far as the uh, all the culinary arts and the recipes. So I got to give him all the credit for that. So he, he's, he put together amazing uh, recipes and menu for us, where it doesn't uh, compete with the other restaurant that we have as well. So it really works out well to have both of us you know, having a restaurant in the same hallway. So we definitely feed off each other and uh, use each other for uh, you know, ideas, inspirations, and also uh, ways to pump up both of our businesses. And so we're uh, always continue to be successful. We, uh, we're not just your average deli. We, have, uh, we focus on uh, gourmet grilled sandwiches. So everything that, that comes out is gonna be uh, all grilled sandwiches. And, uh, we don't have your typical like ham and cheese sandwich, for example. We have a uh, like a one of our most popular sandwiches is going to be our Kennedy sandwich, and that's on uh, jalapeno cheddar bread. Uh, that's uh, made from Antoinette's, ba Antoinette's Bakery, and we also have uh, has sauerkraut on there, Swiss cheese, chipotle mayonnaise, and hickory smoked turkey. So that's one of our house favorites right there. And so everything, everything is just, it's not, we're not a corporate type restaurant. We just, we really uh, uh, emphasize on uh, specialty gourmet sandwiches and all of our sandwiches as well, they're all named after historical uh, downtown buildings. For, for example, the Kennedy sandwich is named after a building just right around the corner. Uh, another popular sandwich that we have is the Atlas sandwich, which is based off of a classic Cuban sandwich. And of course that's named, that's one of our most popular as well. That's why we named it after the Atlas building. Uh, we also have a 320 sandwich, which is named after a building right across the street. So we really focus on uh, really com uh, connecting with the community downtown as well, where they can relate, where they can look at the menu and say, hey, I, I work at that building, and it gives them a little pride as well. And, and uh, Tulsa is really a uh, self-sustained economy, so we're very proud of that as well. And uh, we also focus on uh, local products as far as uh, Topeka Coffee and uh, Antoinette's Bakeries, where we use our, our bread. And uh, we've got uh, Scissor Tail Farms, where we uh, get all of our greenery. So it's, uh, I think we have a lot of pride in that. I think Tulsa does too, because we definitely help you know, sustain the economy as well. It's, uh, it's amazing to see people come in the restaurant that are enjoying the food that we created. It's, uh, it's, it's a dream come true. I don't feel like I'm working when I come to work, and that's what I was going for where I made the career change, that if you love your job, you never work a day in your life. And that, that's, how we, that's how we all feel up here. My, my staff, we all, we all have a good time. We think it's very important to you know, have fun with the guests and know them on a first name basis. And uh, it means a lot to me. I, I, I'm out on the, on the floor and I'm clearing, uh, you know, clearing tables and things like that, making sure everything is great as far as the, the food. And it's great to hear the feedback uh, from my clients as well. And it, it's an amazing feeling. It's, I can go home at the end of the day and smile. And that, that makes my day.
I think it's very cool that John and his brother work so close together, helping each other's restaurants be so successful. To find out more about the Deco Deli for yourself, look for Deco Deli and Market on Facebook. Now we've got our bellies full, it's time for some big boy toy action. We just went to Urban RC to get your toy fix. Yeah, but now I'm talking about being strapped in with a 4,000 horses leading the way. <laughs> Sounds a little out of your league, Stevie. But Paul Schultz can get us on the racetrack next with his spirit of Tulsa racing. When we come back with more Explore Tulsa. Hey, it's Stevie from Explore Tulsa with my friend and optometrist for many years, Dr. Robert Zellner. Tell everybody why it's so good to come in to see you. <laughs> well, that's a great question. Let's see, we've got two great locations. We try to stay cutting edge at every point along the way because let's face it, everybody wants to come in and get taken care of in a timely fashion and get the latest, greatest stuff and save some money and get on with their life. And, and, see, and see clearly. And if you don't believe it, look on the website. Absolutely, drzellner.com. You can find that we have our two locations at 69th and Memorial and 30, 3030 South Harvard, or you can give us a call at 749-2020 or 461-2020. And I got four kids, and I gotta tell you, as a big family like that, it's affordable too. Oh yes, and of course, the number one reason, you save some money. I mean, with our two pair specials, with our uh, different unique packages that we put together, I mean, you can come in here and your money can go a lot farther than anywhere else. And that's why with Dr. Robert Zellner and Associates, Seeing is believing. Oh, I like that, yeah. Stevie. Well done. <laughs> you may not know this about Trish, but oftentimes she's running a little bit late when heading to the Explore Tulsa studio to do the show. Mm, why'd you have to bring that up? The way I saw you screaming across the parking lot with your little car made me think, you might have a future in drag racing. I don't drive that fast. Are you kidding me? If there was a Starbucks at the end of every quarter mile, you'd win every time. Why don't we just visit with a real drag racer? Paul Schultz is the driver and owner of the Spirit of Tulsa Race Team. And when it comes to going fast, nobody tells it better than Paul. It's like that, an elephant sitting on you. I mean, you feel the G-forces, and it just holds you back in the seat completely till you step off of it. You can't raise your hands up, you can't do anything. Hit the throttle, you're gone. Technically, what they call this is a nostalgia front motor top fuel car, and it's based relatively off cars that ran back in the 60s. The motor is a facsimile of a Chrysler Hemi, uh, 392 cubic inches, it's basically a updated version of a 392 and it's a complete billet aluminum block and then they put steel sleeves in it. We put aluminum rods in it, aluminum billet heads, aluminum billet rods and uh, everything else that needs to go inside to withstand all the stresses that go on inside the engine. It makes about 4,000 horsepower. I've always tinkered with cars, motors, didn't matter what they were, lawnmowers, motorcycles, tractors, anything, you know, that I could take apart, put back together. Well, the first car I got was a 50 Ford two-door sedan, and I had it running before I even had my driver's license. Uh, about 1981, I made my first pass in a street-driven Camaro that I had. Once I heard a fuel motor run, a nitromethane fuel motor blown and injected, I've just been drawn to it like music, so, and there's nothing like it at all. This car has run 393, 3.93 seconds, 203 at half track. It's went 5.1 seconds, 235 to 1,000 feet. Well, this lap that we just ran, we burned a little over five gallons, and it's $28 a gallon for fuel. So typically we'll burn five to seven gallons, depending on how slow I back up from the burnout and that type of stuff. So. Well, the best asset a driver can have is the feel for the chassis, that you feel what's going on around you because there's so much motor noise and so many other things going on that if you don't have a feel for the car, it's gonna create problems. Well, it makes you feel that all your hard work, all the hours that nobody knows about after work and into the wee hours of the morning and weekends and holidays and everything, that you spend working on stuff is actually, you know, paying off. Because if it doesn't pay off, it, you know, if all you do is fight problems, it, that is a problem. Mentally take a toll on you.
I, I like the competition. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. When you make a good clean run and the car goes zinging down through there and it's just as smooth as glass and you know, you're accelerating at that type of G-force, yeah, there's nothing, you can't explain it to anybody. You know, they'd have to do it themselves. But all I can say is when you hit the throttle, you better be ready. Did I hear him right? He pays $28 a gallon? I know gas can be high, but if he heads over to the Quick Trip, he can get a deal better than that. Quick Trip doesn't carry nitro. Hmm. To learn more about Paul and his team, look for Spirit of Tulsa Nitro Front Engine Dragster on Facebook. Okay, Trish really is a great driver. The other day, she took a driving test, got 9 out of 10. The other guy was so fast, she got out of the way, though. Ah, hardy har har. <laughs> Stick around, there's more Explore Tulsa just ahead. Hi, Dr. Robert Zellner here. For over 20 years, I've offered affordable, convenient eye care in Tulsa. Right now, you can get one pair of glasses or contact lenses starting at just $99 or my two-pair deal for $129. Hey, and as always, the eye exam's included. Walk-ins are always welcome. Glasses are ready in about an hour. Plus, we have over 2,000 frames to choose from. We're open seven days a week. Come see why we're voted Tulsa Best. And our drive through at 69th and Memorial makes pickup simple and easy. For the best eye care value in Tulsa, Dr. Robert Zellner and Associates. you on the night in question? I was at Video Revolution. They're open till 7, Monday through Friday, 6 on Saturdays, and 5 on Sunday. <laughs> For anyone that can testify to the accuracy of your story? Yeah, yeah. All the salespeople were caring and friendly, and they knew everything about home entertainment, all my home entertainment needs, and from, from HD TVs to camcorders and 3D TVs. <laughs> hmm. The evidence all points to Sony, choosing Video Revolution for major growth as an Oklahoma independent retailer. Video Revolution even offers a 30-day lowest price money-back guarantee. The facts are evident, with features and prices you won't find at a big box store. My investigation is proof positive. For the best service before and even after the sale, it would be a crime not to stop by Video Revolution. Hi, this is Ken McLeod, publisher of Golf Oklahoma, and you're watching Explore Tulsa. Be sure and join us next week when we meet Kenny Smith and learn all about the new Tulsa Mobile Visitor Center. Special thanks to Brittany, Kirsten, and their husband for introducing us to Rick's Place for weddings and events. Thanks, too, to Matt and Harry Mason for letting us play with all their toys at Urban RC. And to John Robinson for showing us what's for lunch at the Deco Deli. Also, thanks to Paul Schultz for taking us for a thrill ride in a spirit of Tulsa drag -thru. Remember, if you miss any of the show, you can always catch us at ExploreTulsa.com. As always, each week we feature the people, places, and attractions that make us proud to call Tulsa our home. Hey, don't forget to like us on Facebook. Share with us someone you think Tulsa should know more about. Plus, remember, Explore Tulsa is brought to you by Video Revolution, located on the northwest corner of 71st and Lewis. Stop by, say hello to Ron and all the guys for all your home entertainment needs. And Explore Tulsa is also proudly brought to you by Dr. Robert Zollner and Associates. Home of the two pair deal starting at just $99 with two locations, 3030 South Harvard and 69th and Memorial. Well, that's all the time we have for you on this week's show, but we'll see you next week right here on Explore Tulsa.